Hey guys, Martin here for Mattress Clarity. So if you're looking for the best comforters around, you've come to the right place. I've tried a lot of the top brands and I think six comforters really stand out among the rest. So I wanna talk about each one by one, their design and who they're a good fit for, and also some frequently asked questions about comforters. Which one's right for you? Let's find out. First off, if you're looking for a comforter or maybe some bedding or even a mattress, go to mattressclarity.com for some great reviews, comparisons, and roundups. So you might be wondering, what is the best comforter? Just tell me. And to that I say, calm down, you're stressing me out. And second, there is no one right comforter for everyone. And that's why I chose six that are a good fit for different types of sleepers. From those who like that fluffy, kind of cloud-like experience for those colder nights, to those who want something on the thinner side for those warmer nights. So I'm gonna go through each one by one, starting with the Egyptian bedding. So I wanted to start with the Egyptian bedding because a lot of times when people think of a comforter, they're thinking of something really fluffy, something more cloud-like. And the Egyptian bedding is definitely that. It has 60 ounces of 750 fill power goose down. So a very fluffy material, very expansive as well. And it also has a baffle box design. That means it actually has these cubes within the construction of that fill to fully expand. So overall, a very fluffy comforter. Also very warm and insulating, good for those colder nights. And on the outside, a very smooth outer shell, 100% Egyptian cotton, very smooth to the touch. But if you don't like that feel, they do have some duvet tabs around the outside of the comforter. Tie it in duvet cover for a different feel. And then lastly, it is a fantastic deal. Right now for a queen size, $119. A very, very good value for a goose down comforter like this. So if you want something that's a good value, something very comfortable and fluffy, take a look at the Egyptian bedding. Next up, we have the Brooklinen All Season Down Comforter. Now, as I said with the Egyptian bedding, a lot of people look for a down comforter, looking for something fluffier, something more cloud-like. But that feel is not for everyone. And that is why I like the Brooklinen so much. It's definitely thinner than the Egyptian bedding, but it's also a very, very luxury down comforter. It's gonna have some materials like 100% cotton in the shell, inside Canadian down clusters with a nice fill power as well. So a very luxury down comforter. It's also better for those warmer nights. It's more breathable. So you're not gonna sleep quite so hot underneath the brook linens. Then we have the superior down alternative comforter. Now, there are a few reasons you might be considering a down alternative comforter. It could be you have for ethical reasons, don't want a down comforter. You could struggle with allergies or you wanna get something more more on the budget end. And the Superior definitely fits all those criteria. So it is hypoallergenic, so good for people with allergies. They don't use any down in the product whatsoever. And it's a very good deal, $45 for a queen size. It also has a lot of the benefits of a down comforter without the drawback. So it's still a very fluffy comforter and warm and insulating. So if you want a very, very good value for a down alternative comforter, but you also want some of that fluff of a down comforter, take a look at the Superior. Moving on, we have the Shamewat Down Alternative Comforter. This is my top value pick. Right now, it's $34 for a queen size on Amazon. A very good deal for a Down Alternative Comforter. While it's a good value, it also has some nice fluff, some nice loft, and it's also warm and insulating as well. Now, the outside is a little bit rough to the touch, 100% polyester, but I think it's a very good duvet insert. In fact, probably the best value duvet insert on this list. So, I've been throwing around a lot of terms like comforter and duvet, and if you want to know the difference difference between the two, I did a great video about that exact topic. Definitely go to our Mattress Clarity YouTube page and check it out. Then we have the Casper Humidity Fighting Duvet, but don't worry, it's basically a comforter. So what sets this comforter apart is it's really good for hot sleepers. I'm personally a hot sleeper. I wake up sweaty and clammy underneath a lot of different comforters, but I did not have that experience under the Casper here. Now the Casper contains duck down and a layer of merino wool. Now merino wool is a material you will find in hiking socks, for instance. It helps with moisture wicking and heat dissipation. So lying underneath the Casper, I'm not overheating. I am sleeping quite cool. So you Hot sleepers out there should definitely take a look at the Casper. Last up, we have the Buffy Comforter, a very popular comforter right now. I added to this list because it's an eco-friendly option. Inside you have the fill is made from 100% recycled plastic. Really awesome in that respect. Also in the shell, you have eucalyptus, really good anti-inflammatory properties, very nice for your skin. It's also designed with hot sleepers in mind to keep you cool at night. So a lot to like about the Buffy and a great eco-friendly option. 
So now I wanna answer some frequently asked questions about comforters. First off, we have what is the best type of comforter? Now with comforters, you're gonna have two main types, down comforters and down alternative. Now a down comforter is better for those who like that fluffy kind of lofty feel, something more breathable. A down alternative comforter is better for those who wanna save some money and those who struggle with allergies. Next up, we have what is the best down comforter? And in my personal opinion, it's the Egyptian bedding Siberian goose down comforter. That's because it's really fluffy, really lofty, really warm and insulating, and a very good deal at $119 for a queen size. Then we have what's the best down alternative comforter. And for me, it's the superior down alternative comforter. And I like this so much because it's very fluffy, very lofty, similar to what you find with a down comforter, but it's also good for people who struggle with allergies and those who don't wanna have down in their comforter. So last up we have, how do I choose a good down comforter? And there's three things you wanna think about. First off, think about design. Is it sewn through or is it baffle box? Sewn through has kind of a tighter design where the fill can't fully expand. With a baffle box design, you actually have these cubes within the comforter for that fill to fully expand for more fluff. Also think about fill weight. Is it a heavier fill weight? How much down you're getting? For instance, for a queen size, something over 60 ounces of down fill is definitely going to be a good choice. Then lastly, you want to think about down fill power. So fill power is a measure of basically how fluffy is that down. So something over 700 or 750 fill power is definitely a good choice. In the end, if you're looking for a great comforter, one of these six should definitely work for you. If you want more information about any of these comforters though, definitely check out our individual reviews on mattressclarity.com. We also do a lot of videos just like this, so hit the like button and subscribe.